Hi guys, Micro here. This is the next instalment of my Smashing Skiller series and this is episode 5. I get lots of AFK gains and I get Invention Unlocked and make a start on that. What type of Skiller series video would it be if I didn't start it off with some daily D&Ds? I got 67 Divination from Akash. And then I done one of my last farm runs for a little while and got 74 farming. I'm going to stop farm runs for a little bit as it's quite expensive and I want to make some money and build up some cash. Then I capped at the Citadel and got 64 mining. Also make sure every week that you hand in your lamps that you get from Sliskelion fragments. I handed in my lamp and got 29 Slayer. After doing a couple more caches, I got 70 Divination. Gonna start training it manually soon. While AFK in making videos, I done some fletching, got to 78. At half past, I thought, oh yeah, we'll do some Big Chin. I go to Big Chin and I can't get there because it's in the Elven Lands. So that's really, really annoying and it wastes so much of my time and I can't get to done a day sometimes because I got back to back elven lands spawns so it just hinders my game so much although i finally did get into the big chin after a couple of hours and i got 69 hunter then back to afk in i got 80 fletching making a little tiny bit of money with you short bows this also took me to the 1200 total level milestone which is quite good considering about how old this account actually is it's not that old at all so i'm happy with that sticking to the afk and theme because i was doing quite a lot of active things on my main like the arc weekend doing hunter so I started doing runespan. I started at level 52 runecrafting. I stayed there for a long time. I got to level 70. So then I could start getting the fragments to make the ethereal pieces. Which is awesome. Elite skilling outfits are great. And I thought I'd stay there, get some fragments. And I got to 75 runecrafting before calling it quits. And moving on to something else. I got a couple of dwarven chain axes from the treasure hunter. So I thought I'd use them up on woodcutting. I tried willows at the start. Got to level 47 woodcutting, but I thought I was wasting a bit of XP by doing willows because they only give small XP drops when it's doubled. So I moved on to maples with the doubled XP from the chainsaw and I managed to get to 50 woodcutting just from the chainsaw charges. Managed to get into another couple of big chins over the next few days and got to 70 hunter. Then it was back to AFK woodcutting to get to 61 so then I could augment my dragon hatchet when I get invention unlocked. Now it was the actual task of unlocking invention, so it was time to do some AFK divination while doing things on my main and making videos etc. As you can see I got 74 divination. I got a couple of lamps from the winter advent calendar that I chucked into Slayer which got me to 32 Slayer. Always good to chuck all my lamps into Slayer as it's the only way for me really to level it up unless I do mini games. In between doing the AFK stuff with Divination to unlock Invention, I thought it'd be a good time to do my daily tasks. I had a construction one. As you can see, I started off at level 43 construction and leveled up to 44 very quickly at the start of the task. Then by the end, when I traded it in, I had level 48 construction. It was five levels for essentially zero GP as those Rune Dragon Bones that I got will be able to pay for what I spent on the materials definitely do construction dailies and back to divination we go we got 78 so only two levels to go for invention which is always nice i camped doing divination for around two days while making videos and doing all of the non-afk stuff on my main as i do really want that 120 hunter i'm nearly at 60 million experience in hunter now on my main so i'm getting those gains quite fast which is great so while doing hunter i just thought it'd be the best time to unlock invention I didn't convert to enhanced XP either, so I wanted to rack in some of those awesome little energies, as they're not worth much, but when you get so many of them, it does add up, and then it'll give me some extra starting energies to then make the divine charges. So now I've unlocked invention, it's time to go and do the invention tutorial with dot and as you can see those energies managed to add up to being about five mil so gaining five mil just afk training divination in general is always great and if i converted those into enhanced xp i would have leveled up faster sure but i didn't mind it because it was a bit of free money and i was afk in anyway just by doing the invention tutorial it gets you to level 4 invention which is always nice plus it does help you learn invention a little bit as well like making blueprints and all of that jazz 
And then just teaching how to, to disassemble some things and make an augmenter. So in the end, I got to level 4 invention after the tutorial. And disassembling the extra stuff, etc. after the invention tutorial got me to level 5. Now it was just time to sit back, relax, get those level ups very easily with disassembling maple logs. I managed to get all the way to level 16 just disassembling maple logs. They don't give much XP at all but the early levels are quite easy and I did disassemble quite a few thousand of them to get to level 16. And then once I hit level 16 I unlocked some blueprints I can unlock which give you extra experience. But this will be my life for a little while as I want to make around 100 mil from doing the divine charges and get to around 60 invention if I can. Then I have enough levels to be able to sign my tools that I use in skilling which will help so much because I'll be able to level them to level 12 and then siphon them as long as I'm level 60 invention and the 100 mil will help with all the buyables that I need to do after that it was the time for the good old weekly mining session in the citadel for the crazy amount of xp it gives i started at 64 mining with a little bit of bonus xp going halfway claiming the filthy reward of bonus xp and getting to 67 by the end of capping three levels in one cap pretty easy and obviously continuing those daily tasks because they're just such good XP. I did a U-Log one and it got me to 62 woodcutting. It also gave me a couple of mahogany planks which would be the equal value to the U-Logs. With all of the simple parts I got from disassembling all of those maple logs up until level 16 invention, I managed to go all the way to level 25 invention just by making the divine charges. So I got 10 levels making these divine charges and it's going to give me quite a lot of GP making this batch. As you can see when I stick them on the GE and sell them, they sell for just under 21 mil and now I have 21 mil in my coin pouch and I started on 10. So, so far I've made 11 mil from the divine charges and I'm hoping to make 90 more so I can make that 100 mil profit. I just stuck in a buy offer for 75,000 incandescent energy to buy overnight, ready for when I have more simple parts to make more divine charges. Again, Big Chin did not want me to do it. It kept spawning in the elven lands. I got really, really frustrated and decided to just train it normally for the last level. As I was 71 anyway, I needed 72 for the charming sprites. So I got that at skill chompers. So now I'm ready for charming sprites. As soon as I unlocked charming sprites, I wanted to do them for an hour or so. Which means I would get to level 73 hunter and get quite a few extra charms ready to use for summoning when I want to get it to 77. I'm going to have to do quite a few hours of this in order to get enough charms to actually do it. So alongside making my money with invention, I'll be doing charming sprites here and there when I can to get enough charms for 77 summoning, which then means I can make PK in Cursed Energy Part 2. So part two of the PK in Cursed Energy will have my 60 strength and 77 summoning. Every video we're getting closer and closer to that goal alongside getting nice skilling gains. I'm really enjoying mixing it up with this account. Unlocking invention was really fun and doing some AFK disassemblies at the moment is really helpful as I've been really busy on the main and making videos etc for you guys and doing all of the skilling weekends and stuff like that being able to afk some invention is really really helpful on this guy but as you can see in my inventory trading in those different charming slices i was able to get 47 crimson 13 gold 23 green and 37 blue this means that in that hour I got quite a lot of charms. I got over 130 charms and the majority of those being crimson and blues make it even more awesome. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new for future content. Feel free to join my friends chat micro if you fancy a chat with me or anyone else in there. Also you can join my clan Goblin Slayers. It's open to everyone and anyone. We have nearly 140 members now and we've had a lot of people join recently. And it's really nice to see all the new friendly faces interacting with everyone else. Same as the Discord. That link will be in the description if you fancy chatting on voice communications. I'm in there near enough all the time as long as I'm not doing a voiceover or something like that. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you'd like to see in the future or if you have anything you'd like to say about this video or any other videos, feel free to do so. And until next time, see ya.